In this lesson on Euclidean geometry, we're going to have a look at some more questions about the proportionality theorem. Example 1. In the sketch, AD DB has the ratio of 7 to 4 and DG GC has the ratio of 2 to 5. We are asked to determine the ratio of AF to FC. Now, for the proportionality theorem to work, the whole side AC has to form part of a triangle where point F is used to draw a line parallel to one of the sides of that triangle. And here, that is not possible. So here, there will be a bit more manipulation needed to calculate this ratio. For this manipulation, I need more information on the line AFC. So I'm going to start with the first given ratio, which is ADDB. And I'm going to try and get that on the line AF. So I'm going to use triangle ABF. And in this triangle, I already know that in triangle ABF, we have DE parallel to BF. And that means we can say that AD over DB is the same ratio as AE over EF. And that will be 7 over 4. And my reason, line parallel to one side of the triangle. The next ratio that was given is DGGC. So I'm going to work in triangle DCE. So in triangle DCE, we know that DE is parallel to GF. And that means we can say that DG over GC is the same as EF over FC. And that will be 2 over 5. And again, my reason, line parallel to one side of the triangle. And now I'm going to focus on the line that has the ratio that we are asked to calculate in it. On this line, we have two different ratios, but... EF is part of both these ratios. So that means we can say that EF is 4M, but it is also 2N. And this distance will be the same in both these cases, which means we can now use them to compare M and N. So if I divide by 2, N will be the same as 2M. Once I have this, I can go back to the question, which is, the ratio of AF to FC. Now, on line AFC, we now know that AF can be written as 11M and FC is 5N. We also know that N is the same as 2M. So if I substitute, I can rewrite that as 5 times 2M. And then I have my ratio as 11 over 10. Example 2. In the sketch, it is given that PQ is parallel to AC and it is given that PR is parallel to BC. We are also given the ratio of BQ to QC as 4 to 3. But this time, the question is to get the ratio between the area of two triangles. So our first triangle, triangle ABQ. And our second triangle is triangle ACQ. Let's quickly recap the area of a triangle. For the area of a triangle, we know the formula is half times the base times the perpendicular height of the triangle, or we can even go to trigonometry and say half of A times B times sin of the enclosed angle C. Now, if we have a look at these two triangles, we will see that they have a common apex at A. And from that apex, we can go and draw 
the perpendicular height for both these triangles, h. They have the same perpendicular height because we have a look at base BQ and base QC, which are on the same line. So if we now go and substitute what we know about these two triangles, our first triangle will be a half times the base, which is BQ, times the perpendicular height. And that we will divide by the area of the second triangle. So this will be a half times the base of the green triangle, which is QC, times the height, which is also H. And my reason for that is common apex A. Now we can go and simplify. A half divided by a half is 1. Height divided by that same height is 1. So the area of these two triangles can be compared by BQ and QC. And we were given the ratio of BQ and QC right at the beginning, which is 4 over 3. So the area of these two triangles are in the ratio 4 to 3. In example 2, we are now asked to determine the ratio between the area of triangle BPQ and triangle ABQ. Now, if you look carefully at these two triangles, you will see that A is not a common apex anymore, but there is a common apex at the bottom at Q. That means the perpendicular height will now be drawn from this common apex Q to the bases of these triangles, and that will then be over there. This means that we will have to focus on base BP for the green triangle and base BA for the blue triangle. And of these two bases, we don't have any information yet. So before we can calculate the ratio of the areas, we need to get the ratio of these two sides, BP and BA. And for this, we're going to work in our big triangle ABC. Because in our big triangle, we know that PQ is parallel to AC. So if we now want to calculate the ratio of BP and BA, we can compare it to BQ and BC, which we can say is 7x. So I'm going to start off saying that we are going to work in triangle ABC where we know that PQ is parallel to AC and therefore we can say that BP over BA will be the same ratio as BQ over BC which is 4 over 7 and my reason line parallel to one side of the triangle. Now I can move to the question where I have the area of triangle BPQ and the area of triangle ABQ. So in my green triangle, the area will be half times the base, which is BP, multiplied with the perpendicular height. And I will divide that by the area of the blue triangle, which is a half multiplied with the base of the blue one, BA, multiplied with the same height. The reason for the same height, they have common apex Q. And once again now I can go and simplify, half divided by a half and H divided by itself is 1. And I'm left with BP over BA, which we calculated as 4 over 7.